I'd like to talk to you about mindfulness at work. My name is John Parsons. I'm here in Central Maine where I work along with California. I've been in business for about 40 years, including as a CEO and a Chief Operating Officer. I've studied and practiced meditation for over 40 years, and as I try to be mindful at work, one pathway that's been helpful to me has been called the Eightfold Path, using the language of Peter Matheson from The Snow Leopard. We start with understanding, which is also known as emotional intelligence. Intention at work. When I think about that idea, I think about kindness and humor, especially as I think about my grandfather who worked about 80 years of his life and always brought a smile and humor to wherever he was. My last happy memory of him was sitting in front of the TV watching cartoons as he laughed and laughed. Life's a cartoon, kindness and humor, intention. Right speech, words, what we say to ourselves, what we say to others, sometimes it's very challenging. We need to find ways to be kind and, and thoughtful and joyful within our communications to ourselves, to let the difficult conversations go in both directions, like writing on water. As Meng wrote so well in Search Inside Yourself, thoughts and emotions are like clouds, some beautiful, some dark, while our core being is like the sky. Right action, as we think about right action, it could be Starry Night, it could be Sistine Chapel. Right action, we have control of our actions. Right livelihood. I've been working a long time. I work with a lot of businesses within their planning, within their execution. I work with people. I'm not a management consultant at this point. I'm a people consultant and a people guy. We do move towards a higher purpose in our work, whether we're one minute into it or deep into our careers. It's good to be happy within our work and to be who we are. Right livelihood. Right effort, relaxed and alert. <laughs> Mindfulness, steady like the pole. That's our mindfulness, our meditation. Like the flag, our emotions, our thoughts move in and out. We let them go while the pole keeps us in the center as we live our lives mindfully and as we work that way. Right concentration. begins and ends with our breath, from birth to death, and in between. Oftentimes, life passes beautifully like this day. Then again, oftentimes, life and work are hard. In Buddhism, the Four Noble Truths precede the Eightfold Path we just discussed. Again, paraphrasing Peter Matheson from The Snow Leopard, the Four Noble Truths are one, life is suffering. Two, life is suffering because of our craving. Three, there's a way out of that suffering and craving. Four, it's the Eightfold Path. I do believe in the wisdom of the Dharma and do my best to study and practice it every day. But I also believe in living in the world. And while work is hard, the practice of mindfulness can be very helpful. I've been a leader in five successful businesses, including my own, Cooperative Strategies. At Cooperative Strategies, I've led over 100 companies with their people of all strata, helping them with their strategy, their execution, and uh, ultimately themselves. Focusing upon mindfulness at work, I really do admire the way you at Search Inside Yourself present the wisdom of kindness, breath, and right action in a very thoughtful and, and pragmatic way. 
We know that many people turn their noses at anything that has the odor of uh, religiosity, new age, spiritualism. We also know that many people deeply informed by their own religions and faith have difficulty in assimilating ideas or practices that they think may be coming from another religion. We can't stand a judgment, obviously, but we can't stand back either. We can just simply present as students of mindfulness the hard data, the truth of neuroscience, as well as the empirical studies of what a difference mindfulness, emotional intelligence make within individuals and within their companies. Scientists, pragmatists, spiritualists, artists, academics, military, all of us, whoever we are within our work, deserve to be introduced to this life-changing practice. The idea of presenting world peace as something that's viable in our lives is not naive. One breath, one person at a time. I'd like to be able to help you. Thank you.